Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going over a used inventory unit. This trailer is available. It's a 2022 Trails West Classic, three horse gooseneck. I don't know why this trailer hasn't sold yet. It's been sitting here a while, but that's good news for you guys. We just dropped the price on this trailer really extensively, so it's worth the shot for you guys to take another look at it. Maybe this trailer will fit you guys. It's fitted out with a ton of upgrades, and it's a really cool little setup and a really clean used trailer. You can tell that because it's a 2022. It's been very lightly used, and you'll see that as we walk around this trailer. Up here is your front dressing room. Behind that is going to be your double entry uh, mid-tack. So it kind of gives you guys plenty of space up here in this front dressing room. Your door is going to be equipped with a brush tray. You also have your sliding type window in that door to kind of give you more airflow, give you more light, because you can kind of use this as a sleeping area. There won't, won't be really an option to store tack in here, which kind of gives you the ability to store totes, whatever it may be, separate from your tack. You're going to have a fully carpeted floor, a gooseneck drop wall, as well as your gooseneck deck. Cool thing about it is you also get a boot box for storage in here that will also kind of serve as an entry step up into that nose for you guys. So you could 100% use this as a little weekend or trailer. You're going to have plenty of storage in here and again it's going to be completely separate from your tack room. So you're not going to have to worry about your tack mixing in with your clothes or whatever you may be hauling to stay in this trailer. Up top you'll have a little clothes rod again maybe hanging some clothes that you're traveling in keeping them off the ground. You'll we'll also have LED lighting in this trailer as well. You can see that LED light strip there behind that uh, clothes rod as well. You have a sliding type window here on your short wall. Again, giving you some more light in here, some more airflow. Kind of use this as like a little weekender setup if you guys wanted to. You also have sliding type windows in the nose. Behind me over here, you will have a pass through door into your mid tack area. So, again, really easy to store totes and stuff up front, kind of bigger stuff that's not necessarily tack. Walk right through into your tack room, see your tack, move your tack back and forth from whichever way you have them set up. And we'll kind of go through that mid tack here in a second. You are fully carpeted on your partition wall between that mid-tack as well. You don't have any bridle hooks mounted in here as well, but I like that it is carpeted just because if you wanted to come in after the fact and add a high set or a low set of bridle hooks in here, it's going to be carpeted behind those bridle hooks, so you're not going to have to worry about your bridle scratch and stuff up. This trailer is set up for an immense amount of storage, and it's also got a lot of maneuverability. Like I said, you can use this as a weekender, or you can set, outfit this out as another tack room if you want. We can always add more saddle racks in here. more. Uh, bridle hooks, blanket bars, whatever you guys need added, we can add in here. It's got room for a water tank in the corner, so it's a really nicely set up trailer. Coming over into your mid-tack area, again, it's a double entry mid-tack, so you're going to have a mirror door on the other side of this mid-tack. You'll have a door organizer with another brush tray situated on this passenger side entry. Both sides are going to be outfitted with this uh, swing out saddle rack. You're going to have three on this side, three on the other side. Your bottom tier on this swing out is going to have like a brush bag, I'd like to call it. You can keep brushes in there, horse boots in there, whatever it may be, off the floor. It's really nice having this just because this is a fully carpeted mid-tack as well. And those Velcro boots tend to stick to just about anything, but they won't stick to this. So you can throw your Velcro boots in here, keep them nice and out of the way. More in this mid-tack, it's kind of hard to see from the angle we are at. Situated behind where that saddle rack swings to, there is a water tank mounted with a hose. I want to show you guys just how easy it'd be to water your horses. For example, you get to a rodeo and the hydrant's super far, maybe they don't have water. You can easily set buckets outside, have that water tank full with water from your house, fill your buckets, you know, water your horses, whatever may be doing on the outside of this trailer. Even if you have a bucket hanging from this first tie ring here, you can easily fill it straight from this water tank here. Behind each swing out saddle rack, you are going to have a five tier or a six tier blanket tree. That's going to run on a spring or a gas piston as well, and you can see it just kind of angles right out that door. Makes it really easy to be able to grab your saddles and grab your blankets and just come straight out the door versus having to jump in and out, carry saddles with this big step. You also have a high set and a low set of bridle hooks on each side. So you can see up top you're going to have bridle hooks, below that you're going to have bridle hooks. You're going to have plenty of organization as far as how you organize your tack. On the other side you're going to have a set of highs, they're kind of a deeper bucket hook. Um, if you're hauling some bigger slickers, bigger buckets, stuff like that, it's not necessarily a hook. It's more of a, I would say, a hardware handle. Again, plenty of different setups you can run in this trailer. And we'll enter from that other side tack room and kind of look at it from that other angle as we work our way around the trailer. Coming down your horse side of this trailer, you will have three tie-out D-rings on this horse side. It's a three horse, so I'll have three this side, three the other side. You'll have LED lighting on each side of this trailer again. No matter which side you're going to be saddling on, you're going to have enough light to be able to saddle your horses, do whatever you need to do, check on your horses in the dark or early morning hours. 
Below that, this is a 610 wide trailer, so you will notice there is a full length running board running the whole length of this trailer. I like that personally, especially if you don't have the need for an eight wide trailer. I like doing a 610 just because it gives you the option to climb up on that running board and check on your horses. It makes it a little easier for you to open windows, close windows, stuff like that by having that running board. Down low, you will notice these nice steel or nice aluminum wheels. They really kind of make this trailer flash out, especially they kind of match that decal that travels down the side of this trailer. You get nice uh, aluminum wheels. The spare on this trailer is gonna match these tires and wheels as well, and I'll show you guys that spare and that tire when we get up front to this trailer. Again, as we walk around this trailer, keep in mind, this is a used trailer, and you'll see just how clean this trailer is. It was very lightly used. You can tell that because, again, it is a 2022, so you're getting probably one of the newest used trailers you can possibly find out there. You will have rubber kick mat on both your rear doors as well as about five foot up the inside of this stall area all the way around. So if you have a horse that likes to paw, kick, gets antsy while you're hauling them, they're just gonna be beating up that rubber mat. They're not gonna actually be beating up the framing of this trailer. Above me before we jump in, it is LED lighted back here as well. So if you're loading in early morning, late nights, your horses are gonna be able to see what they're doing as they jump onto this trailer, offload off this trailer, but you're gonna be able to see what you're doing as well. That way you guys don't get in a bind. There's a rubber matted floor. Underneath that floor, it is a wood floor. Again, I like doing wood floors. Aluminum's great too if you take care of them the proper way. But I like wood just for an example. If one of these boards go bad, you're just replacing one board. You're not replacing a whole floor. Where if you have an aluminum floor that starts going bad, you're basically cutting out that whole floor and re-putting a whole brand new piece of aluminum down. So it's really cost friendly to fix this floor if you have a board start going bad or something of that nature. Up inside this trailer, it does run off kind of a slam latch system, so you're more than welcome to just slam these gates. They are going to hold themselves shut. And I really like their recess mechanism. It's a really cool mechanism Trails West has. You basically just grab this little lever and twist a little bit, and it's going to open up. It is rubber sealed behind this divider and your other divider as well. We do those rubber seals, or the trailer manufacturer does, because now that it's latched, it's pushing up tight against that rubber seal. You don't have any metal on metal contact. It's going to be a real smooth and real quiet ride for your horses. And then same thing on your front divider. It's going to be that same latch mechanism sealed up against that rubber. Again, super quiet, super sturdy, and really easy to use. They are running off springs on these, or these little gas pistons you'll see up here. Um, that'll kind of hold these dividers over. So when you're loading horses, if you're kind of parked on a hill, the dividers aren't going to swing over in the way of your horses as you're loading and offloading. In each one of your stalls, you are going to have tie rings if you like to tie your horses while you're traveling. I personally do. You'll have tie rings in each one of your stalls. You'll have two in that rear stall. Again, letting your horses tie out. You will have airflow on these dividers. I like doing them just because your horses can see each other. And a lot of the times the horses you're hauling, they're used to being with each other at home, in the pins, in the turnouts, in the pasture. They like to see each other, it makes them travel a little better and stay less antsy. So I like doing these jail bar type airflow dividers. So it's really cool that they're set up on this trailer. Each one of your stalls will also have a two-way roof vent. You can situate these vents however you see fit. Typically they'll work one of two ways. You can either pull air into this trailer or open them the other way to pull air out. So you can open your first two to pull a bunch of fresh air in, open your last one so it kind of creates a vortex and gets that air flowing over the backs of your horses and just keeps pulling nice cool air for them in those summer months. Each one of your stalls will be outfitted with some D-rings here. They try to set it up as best as possible, so if you guys did want to come in here in the future and add hay bags, they already got some snaps for you guys to haul hay bags. Each one of these stalls will have those snaps as well. So you can see right here on this wall, you'll have a snap ring as well. So again, trying to give you guys some options for upgrading this trailer in the future. Move down our hip wall. It is bus type sliding windows, again, kind of giving you guys the option to create as much airflow or manipulate airflow however you guys see fit for whatever you're doing that day. You also have LED lighting in each of these three stalls. Again, giving your horses room to see what they're doing and giving you room to click a light on if you stop at a gas station to get some fuel. Climb up on that 610 running board, look through the window, and make sure your horses are traveling safely. And again, it's just a super easy system with these dividers. So move around the driver's side or your head side of this trailer. You'll get to see these nice Trails West drop downs. They're big square framed windows. 
It's always better to go square frame than round framed if you're ever looking at a trailer just because they're a little bit stouter. That square shape's gonna hold up to where if you get a round shaped window, it's gonna kind of move and flex on you a little bit. So these are big, heavy duty square framed windows. They also do have droppable jail bars in them as well. So again, like I said, if you're running feed bags in there and you need to check on your horses, it's really easy to drop that jail bar, climb up on here and I can see all my horses in this trailer, every part of them, and just make sure they're traveling safely and there's no issues while I'm traveling. You also have the option to run a sliding type window in each one of these if you don't have them drop down. Again, gives you guys plenty of options. Maybe you're feeding your horses in there and you don't want that wind whipping the hay around. You can always close these up, run the sliding types to still get them some airflow in there while they're eating. And then very easy to pull off the side of the road, pull in a gas station, quickly drop all these windows to give them that airflow. Or if you're traveling and it starts raining and they are dropped and you don't want your horses to get wet while you're traveling, it's really easy. You come to a stoplight, you can run out in two seconds, flip these windows up and make your horses have a safer ride. I want to flip these up so I can show you guys how nice this trailer looks. We talked about those nice flashy kind of aluminum and black accented wheels. With that decal on the side of this trailer, it really makes that decal pop. It makes those wheels look really nice. It's a really flashy little trailer. Then again, up in front of that, here is your other entry to that mid-tack, so it's a double entry. It's gonna be similar setup, a little bit different. You're gonna have that same three-tier swing out. No um, boot tray, brush tray, whatever you wanna call it, below this third swing out. Just a straight saddle rack on this side. And then inside your tack room, again, you're gonna have that same gas piston operated blanket tree. Again, it angles off that wall to make it super easy to pull blankets on and off this tack wall. Um, it's a really well operative trailer. If you're running tack out of here, you're not gonna have to worry about climbing over stuff. It's gonna kind of situate everything out of the middle and make it really easy for you to pull stuff out of this trailer. Again, a high set of bridle hooks, a low set of bridle hooks or bucket hooks or whatever you wanna do. They're a little deeper. They got these lipped edges so you can kind of manipulate how you wanna hang stuff. And over here on the passenger side of this front wall, you're gonna have an upper set of those bucket hooks and then a lower set of bridle hooks as well. So you're gonna have plenty of places you can hang stuff in this trailer as well. And it'll give you a little bit better view of that water tank over there situated in the corner. Cool thing about this trailer right now, it's, it is outfitted with that 25 gallon water tank. And this other corner over here on the driver's side, you will have a stand as well. So if you wanted to ever buy another 25, a 35 gallon will fit in here too. You can always mount another water tank right there on that tray. Have plenty of water to make sure you're traveling with your horses. I'm actually going to shut this door for this for you guys so you can get the full view of this nice decal they have on here. I like decals when they do them on trailers and they do them right. It seems like this decal is really nicely firmly attached. A lot of times you get them they already, they're already flaking at this point. So this decal looks really nice going down the side of this trailer, especially with those wheels. And then up front at the nose of this trailer, it's going to be pretty standard stuff. Um, the thing I like Trails West did here is they went and diamond plated the whole bottom side of this drop wall underneath this nose. That's where most of your truck is going to be kicking up dirt, debris, rocks, and it's really going to hold up well that diamond plate as compared to if it was just sheeting down there. Um, worst comes to worst, you're just replacing diamond plate, maybe knocking out some dings here and there, and you're not replacing full metal sheets on this trailer. That diamond plates are really going to help this trailer hold up. It is just a standard single speed jack, so you will have your jack mounted there. It's just a standard hand crank. We can upgrade this to an electric or a hydraulic jack through our shops if that's something you guys wanted to do. Cool thing about it is it's already outfitted with battery power. So if you're traveling in this trailer, you don't need to be hooked to a truck to run all the lights. And the best thing about it is if you did want to upgrade to that hydraulic jack, you're already ahead of the game. It's already wired for power. Basically, they just attach that jack and tie it into this battery here. So you're already set up to make that upgrade as well. Here is that matching tire to the rest of the tires on this trailer. So your tread's gonna be great. It's not a donut or anything like that. It's a matching tire. You're gonna have that steel wheel to be able to get you to a shop somewhere, get your tire fixed, swap tires you need to do, but you are gonna be riding on a full-size tire, not a donut or an off-G rated tire, something like that. And then of course, as we finish up here, you're gonna have your two and five sixteenths ball, your safety chains, your breakaway cable, and then of course your seven pin. This trailer has been fully serviced through our shop. I mean, brakes have been checked, bearings have been packed, it's been gone through, all the electrical's been gone through. All your mechanisms on this trailer, your latches, every point of this trailer has been inspected, repaired, replaced to get you the best used trailers possible. Like I said, it was very lightly used when it came in, so we really didn't have to worry about much. But again, it did get that full service through the shop, so you're getting a very lightly used trailer at a great price. We just dropped the price on this trailer, so feel free to take another look at this trailer. If you're interested in this trailer, the stock number for this unit is 5U-2000. 
211-223. Again, it's a 2022 Trails West Classic. If you're looking at this trailer and you're thinking, man, this is a great little three horse, but I maybe would want a four horse. I want a little more horses. We just got a Trails West Specialite four horse gooseneck in that's really similar to this trailer as well. So if you're interested in this trailer, maybe that other trailer coming in, or any other trailers you maybe want to order, anything we have on our lot, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Thanks for tuning in.